Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. According to the CDC, there are 380 cases of lung illnesses in 36 states and one U.S. territory. All reported cases have a history of e-cigarette or vaping use. There's also been talk of banning e-cigarettes in some states and even nationally. Our very own medical expert, Dr. Jen Cottle, is here to break down this subject like we needed to be broken yes. down. Yes. Please welcome hey. Miss uh, well, Dr. Jen Cottle back to the show. Yes. Come on, Michelle. Yes. Thank you very much. How Thank you doing? You. I'm good. It's good to see you. And you as yes. well. Yes. And welcome you as back. well. Yes. Welcome back. Yeah. You know, uh, e-cigarettes and vapes, it beca it's become such a phenomenon. It's everywhere. And, and we're hearing it and we're seeing it uh, with children as young as 12 and wow. 13 years if old. If not younger. Yes. So ex explain to us what is happening with e-cigarettes and vaping and why it can be so hazardous. Charles Health. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there's two things going on. The first thing is the acute lung injury. Mm -hmm. This is the 380 cases that you mentioned in the intro. We have six people have died from oh this acute God. lung injury. And the thing that they all have in common is some sort of history of vaping or e-cigarette use. Many of them have used THC or some sort of THC mm -hmm. product in the vaping. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the thing. These people are coming to the hospital with shortness of breath, with cough, with chest pain. They feel sick, nauseous, fever, chills. But they don't have pneumonia, which is what we would expect. Mm. And they're often very young and they get so sick, many of them, that they're actually being put on ventilators. Many oh, of them. And as we said, six people have died. So that is one issue. And then, Rashad, I wanted to mention the other thing. You talked about uh, banning e-cigarettes. It's actually banning flavored mm. e-cigarettes. Ah. Um, that's the, the key, is banning the, the yeah. flavors. Because that's the attraction like for the... That's the younger people. Yeah, well, we're thinking yeah. the same thing. Yeah. That's yeah. the thing, and that's why a lot of young people are getting hooked on e-cigarettes, mm -hmm. is because they've got bubble gum and mm -hmm. popcorn and gummy bear flavors and things like that. Mm -hmm. And it attracts kids and they're using nicotine products. They're not smoking cigarettes, but they're vaping. It's a ton of nicotine. Ugh. They're like 11, 12, 13 years That's old. A shame. It is. It's a problem. How are they gaining access? We're yes. thinking the same. Yes. <laughs> Great. I'm, I'm, okay. Let's blown. talk about it. Let's well, do. Let's talk about it. So this is the thing. E-cigarettes are not indicated for people under the age of 18. They are not built for people under the age of 18. So you say, well, how do the kids get it? Well, they get it from around the way. They get it from people they know. They get it from people who will sell them to them. They online. are not, mm. say that again, online, online. yes. Online. They are not, e-cigarettes are only indicated for adults. Right. And one of the main reasons why, and this is for all you parents out there, please talk to your kids about this if you hadn't, because I, I swear to you, all the kids either know someone who's doing it or they may be themselves. The thing about nicotine in young kids is we don't know how nicotine affects the developing brain. Mm -hmm. Imagine all that nicotine coming into an 11-year-old, 12-year-old's mm -hmm. brain. We don't know what that's going to do down the line. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is we know that kids who use e-cigarettes have a higher likelihood of transitioning to traditional cigarettes. Mm -hmm. So a lot of parents or a lot of adults will come and say to me, they'll, they'll be like, Dr. Jen, why are you so against e-cigarettes? They help me quit smoking. And I'll be like, hey, for adults, if they helped you quit smoking and you're not smoking anything, Okay, right, cool. right. But the problem is with kids, they ain't ever smoked nothing. Mm -hmm. And now they're mm -hmm. starting to smoke because they got bubble gum and gummy bears and whatever. We don't need that. Yeah. And neither do they. Right. How okay. long do those symptoms last that you spoke of earlier? The, so the symptoms of the acute lung injury that are sending people to the hospital, the 380 cases, the six deaths, some people have had symptoms for a couple days, some of them have had weeks. And mm -hmm. this is why the FDA and the CDC, they've actually established a new task force to help investigate because the bottom line is we don't actually know what it is. The FDA says that, you know, to avoid buying vaping products on the street that, that's using THC, um, don't do that because we don't know what's in them. But they're still investigating what the problem is. And the idea is if you vape and you have any of these symptoms, you've got to see your doctor because it could be this acute lung injury that we're seeing. Mm. Do we know whether it's the liquids or the mm. refill pods or well, the cartridges? And, do they know? And that's what this task force is trying mm. to find out. They okay. see a common denominator that many of these people have, have used THC products that they've bought their vaping devices on the street and what they're finding is something called vitamin E acetate which is, is like an oily substance that they're using in the vape um, this is the thing when you buy your stuff off the street let's just call I mean, a spade a spade, right. a spade. Mm -hmm. would you go to the grocery store and buy an open can of spaghetti sauce exactly no. right no. so this is the thing when we buy things off the street you don't know what it was mixed with what it was cut with what somebody put in it what somebody took out and that's what we think think might be going on, although we don't know for sure. Okay. okay. Well, you know, I, I, I'm going to add this before I ask you another question. Sure. Okay, let, let's talk about, like, the alcohol industry. Yeah. There are so many different flavors of alcohol. There's whipped cream, there's uh, yeah. Swedish fish, blah, blah, blah. Sure. But kids cannot readily go into a liquor store and buy these flavored alcohols. They shouldn't be able but, to, right? But, mm -hmm. but yet they can go into a, a, a 
a gas station and buy these well, flavored. Well, they're not supposed to. They're not right. supposed so to be there, able to there do that. There needs to be some kind of regulation yes. for children under age being able to go and buy these things. So what is the CDC doing and have they released mm -hmm. any recommendations regarding the risk of smoking e-cigarettes and vapes? Yes. So this has been something that's been talked about for a number of years. I've been writing articles about it. I get hate mail all the time. Oh. Dr. Jen hates wow. e-cigarettes. Well, you know what? I got problems with them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to say it. I got some problems with them. Um, this is the thing. We don't have a lot of long-term data about e-cigarettes. We don't know. And they have a lot of toxic chemicals in them. Mm. So this is the thing. What's happening? The CDC and the FDA are pushing for tighter regulations. I am a fan. And yes, kids under the age of, of you know, who are underage should not be sold these products. They shouldn't use these products. The idea is, I say right now, don't use them, especially even if you're an adult, until we know what's going on. It might seem conservative, but we don't know what's going on right now. Right, right. Better be safe than sorry. Really yeah. quickly, give us yes. a one-liner on how we can talk to our kids about it before we wrap up. Ask them. Ask them what they know. Ask them what they've seen. Ask them what, and then go into what they've done, because they've all seen it. Mm. Absolutely. Just broach wow. the conversation. You can get more of this amazing woman on her YouTube channel. Aww. Please make sure you go to uh, Dr. Jen Cottle on YouTube, right? Yes, yes. absolutely. Yes. YouTube.com slash Dr. Jen Cottle. Ah, absolutely. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much.